If you're wanting a quick meal in Las Vegas from an award-winning chef, you can't go wrong with Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. We've eaten at both the Las Vegas and Orlando locations, and this continues to be our go-to quick service restaurant for some delicious fried fish and chicken. In this video, we're going to share some of our favorite things on the menu here at Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. As you know, if you've already watched our Orlando Fish and Chip video, I am normally not a fish person at all. However, Gordon Ramsay's fish is the exception to my rule. So I knew right away that I would be ordering the fish and chips here. I started with the fish and it was so incredibly flaky and crispy when I broke it open. I just knew it was going to be amazing. I took a bite and suddenly became flooded with happy memories of the fish I had eaten in Florida. I don't know how Gordon is able to make this fish so incredibly amazing, but it seriously is the best. I usually hate tartar sauce as well, but the tartar sauce here is somehow also good. I was so glad that everything here at Fish and Chips in Las Vegas was just as good as it was in Orlando. Since we had eaten recently, I wasn't super hungry and decided to just get a side of fries. There are several fry options you can get with all different toppings, but I decided on the dirty number three chips. These fries are covered in bacon, cheddar cheese, green onions, and sour cream. The fries themselves were cooked perfectly crisp. They had a great salty flavor and the toppings were very fresh and full of flavor. I've tried a few of the different chip topping options but this one is hands down my favorite there were also two sauces that I got which were Dijon mayonnaise and Southwest ranch the Dijon mayonnaise was very creamy and it had a very good mustard flavor to it the Southwest ranch was a little too spicy but it was still a good sauce as much as I do love Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips I find that his fish here is just a little too greasy for my liking I much prefer the fish over at Gordon Ramsay pub and grill so I decided to just get the chicken here instead. One thing that I love about this chicken is how incredibly flavorful it is. There is a lot of seasonings in the batter and they really take this chicken to a whole new level. While the chicken here is still a little greasy, it wasn't quite as greasy as the fish. The batter was also really crispy and the chicken itself was tender and flaky. If you don't like fish or you just want to try something different here, I highly recommend getting the chicken. You won't be disappointed. Whenever I'm in Vegas, I have to eat at Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. Even if I go by my myself without the group, I always make sure I get here at least once on our visits. Even though I really should try something new, I always end up getting the exact same thing here. Because why mess with perfection? Which is exactly what these fish and chips are. For my dipping sauces, I consistently get the curry mango to go with my chips and Gordon's tartar to slather on my fish. The fish here is always on point. The flaky and soft white fish surrounded by the crispy and salty batter combined with the tartar sauce all comes together to be the best fish and chips you will find this side of the pond. The chips are perfectly crispy and salty and aren't too crunchy or soft. And dipped in the tremendous curry mango sauce, it really completes the bite. If you've never had this curry and mango sauce, you are missing out. As good as the fish and chips are here, the fish and chips across the street at Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill are even slightly better. Check out our video about that and the other amazing food we ate at Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill next by clicking here now.